Hello, um, this is the first video in this tutorial series where I'm going to be showing you how to use um, each of the components of the simulator and uh, set up your own aircraft. As you can see, I have a very fresh project and all I did was just import the package itself. So, here. So I'm using Unity 5.6. That means I imported the 5.6 version of the package. And uh, on importing it will create this menu where you have all the tools you need to create your own aircraft. Um, all of them are They've been described in the documentation that comes with the package itself. Uh, yeah, here's the document. I mean, yeah, the manual of the documentation. Uh, the air force system, air force system, hydraulics, propulsion, electrical system, miscellaneous, and other stuff. And um, to start using the simulator, I advise you to check out any of the Example scenes have been provided with the package itself the A10, A29, F35, KC10, and uh, we have some experimental ones. Now, these are experimental because I can completely guarantee that they will work in the way they are supposed to work. The V22 has this, um, the vertical takeoff and landing system included. But the role properties of the aircraft is I'm not really satisfied with it. The electric plane is still under development. The P20 2006 Techno. Huh. I think the model is really the problem here, but I'm not really sure. So I just added it to the experimental aircraft. So for you to start using any of the system, let's open the A29. Uh, this is the aircraft with all the systems included. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me reposition this. Uh, this is what the internal of the aircraft looks like. The center of gravity, which also has um, the instrumentation script attached the gear system with the wheels included the aerodynamics with the wings and um, the stabilizers the body contains the models the engine system well contains the engine and the plates weapon system uh, includes those cannons on the right and left wing the hydraulic system for the canopy and the gear then the avionics, which includes the black box, the lightning system, and the radar system. Uh, so, before I can use this, I have to set up my input. So, you go to miscellaneous setup input. So, the quick setup actually does the basic setup for the keyboard alone. But if you have um, the PlayStation controller or a joystick that you want to use, you should go to the detailed setup. So these are the actions and these are the keys that have been assigned to them on the keyboard. While if I go to the Logitech X3, the um, joystick, I see the actions and the buttons that have been assigned. Now, I only have 12 buttons on the joystick, but I have almost 20 different actions. So while like the most important actions have been assigned to a button on the joystick. Some actions still remain on the keyboard. And the same thing goes for the PlayStation controller. So um, the first thing I have to do is go back. Let me clear these errors. This is just some lightning stuff. Then I have to connect my joystick. As you can see, it tells me that the joystick has been connected. 
So I go back to my menu, miscellaneous, setup input detail, setup logitech, configure x3d control. Then you should get this that the joystick input successful. I mean, setup has been successful. So that's all for the basic setup. So you can set up the aircraft and start the simulation. This is the first setup, so it might take just a few seconds. So this is the basic the scene and uh, this is one of this is one of the scenes uh the realistic weather system that just came with the new update has been set up completely so as you can see the time is changing and the temperature is also going with it here you can see the new radar system so the first thing i have to do is turn on the lights for the aircraft the landing lights the strobe and navigation beacon lines all come up then i uh, i have to increase my flap and increase the volume so that you can hear that so as you can see my flap is down 35 degrees so i start up the aircraft and uh, the way i modeled the system is you can't really go up to full throttle well you can go up to full throttle but it doesn't have an effect on the aircraft until the uh what is it called the startup sequence is complete so let me test that all my controls are working yes the roll the pitch the rudder yeah all full control so i power to full throttle as you can see the exhaust has also been added for the system i release the parking brakes and uh, off i go i can steer while i'm still on the ground of course but uh, the stair speed has been limited to 20 meters per second to so avoid the situation whereby the aircraft to lose control while you're still on the ground so i'm i'm going to take off once i eat 140 knots well off i go so yep i have full control let me lift in the gears uh, as you can see the controls are very fluid with the joystick very very fluid I can test the mini gun as you can see they have an effect I mean sorry they're working properly I mean sir let me go back to my airfield and test the drop bombs Ah, this system is configured in such a way that you can't really drop the bombs below 200 feet so i'm at 1400 so i'm free to drop the bombs i press my key and off they go and uh, let's go and see the effects they have off here are the bombs going and uh boom they hit the ground then let me go back to my scene and continue the controls well as you can see everything works perfectly on start let me test another aircraft like we do first you turn on the lights you start up the engine And wait for the standard sequence to be complete. As you can see, also the rotating barrel has been added to the new update. So the barrel rotates as you fire the minigun, and uh, you can see the effect on the ground. Release the bricks, 
I will wait for takeoff speed. I retract the gear. And uh, I can grab the bombs from this height. As you can see also, the controls also are very fluid very fluid controls well, let me crash the plane and end the tutorial there boom aha well that concludes the first tutorial on basic setup uh, I'll continue the tutorial is with another video on basic model setup. Yeah, thank you.